The Venture study was a European study with a total of 40 patients. When we started the Venture study, this was in 2010, it was completely new land for us because we had a very powerful device uh, that we had to implant in these patients and to look what can we take out of that. When we tried to characterize how do they change, not only with respect to mobility, like turning the hands or tipping with the fingers, but also in aspects of how do they perform in everyday life. The Versa system consists of a stimulator that is implanted in most of the cases around the chest. Then you need cables that are transferring the current that is delivered by the IPG um, up to your skull. And then there are two little wires going deep into the brain exactly at the spots, hopefully, where we can mimic and kind of melt down Parkinson's disease. Well, we learned that from the Vantage trial that it's rather important for us as physicians to individualize our therapy. We have to look at the single patient, try to tackle his or her individual problems, try to avoid his or her individual side effects. And then at the end, the overall result is really terrific. With other words, the Venture trial is the first hint that personalized DBS is rather successful, not on a scientific level, but rather down to mobility and quality of life of our patients. For the patients this means that they have a very good efficacy of the stimulation, so they reach the level, the best level that they could have with medication and a very stable therapy, so no fluctuations at all. And this is very important because this is the most important part for the patients. Uh, how is my day? Will I be fluctuating over day? Will I have bad situations or good situations? Uh, this is what is the most crucial uh, factor on quality of life and this is what we find out with this uh, Vantage study.